All we gotta do is hit the button. Let's go! I'm a Lego inventor, and today I wanna build a secret storage compartment that rises out of this table, so it's basically hidden. And it's gonna be able to hold several types of Lego pieces that I use the most often, so I can just push the button on the side, it'll rise up, and I can grab whatever piece I need. And I'm gonna build the whole thing entirely out of Lego. It's gonna be pretty cool. So step one, I need to figure out how to build mechanics that are gonna make it rise out of the table. So my first idea is to use a Lego piston, because we do have some of those in different sizes. And these are pretty nice because you can basically unscrew them or put a motor in the end and they extend. Then I remembered I actually have some super pistons. And these things I built in the video titled, I upgraded Lego power functions. So when we attach a motor to the bottom like this, we turn it on, as you can see, it pushes the piston. And that's actually pretty strong. And then my plan is to take this, put it right up through here, then we grab our motor and we attach it onto that little axle. So if we make that times two by just doing the same thing on the other one, we should be able to connect these end to end and then hopefully we got three and three quarters. Theoretically, when we switch this, we should get it up to about here. Because they both extend quite a bit of weight that can lift up too. So we get an additional five inches. Well, now it seems kind of inefficient. It's not great because that's only like two sections of drawers for all this. So for my second idea, we forget these. <laughs> we take a bunch of these gear racks and we put them on each side of a central pillar. Okay, so we have this on one side and then we basically do the same thing on the other side and have a double-sided gear rack. And then we'll grab a motor and some gears, put the axle through there and then we'll attach two gears. So let's try that. And this should hopefully fit right through there. And it does, yippee. And that's like perfect too. Now when the motor spins these gears, this thing will push up a lot farther than five and three quarter inches. But I wanna lock these together because I've had a problem in the past where basically this side will spin faster and then it'll start going at an angle. All right, we'll plug in this IR receiver and then we'll put one motor on red channel and one motor blue channel. Now, when we turn this on, look how fast it is. Now this will sit at the top and this go down like that. Well, that gives you a lot more extension than the giant piston thing. Okay, this is perfect. All right, so now that we have the mechanism that's gonna make this work, the next step is to figure out the drawer that we're gonna actually raise and lower. We're calling it a drawer here, but it's actually more of like a series of drawers. So we're gonna have two rotating sets of drawers. Basically, you're gonna be able to spin each one so that you can pick pieces out of it and you know get the pieces you want. But I think these drawers are too big. So, what if we build a clear Lego drawer? Okay, so if we use these little cylinder pieces, and maybe some of these windows I was thinking, but if we just use a cylinder piece, we put a tile on one side, and then a plate on the other, that creates a drawer. And like, for example, one of the pieces I wanna put in here are some of these pins. Not a ton of room. Oh, hey, if we put a door frame on top of this, that would extend it. Check it out, guys, I'm a smart boy. We put this here, that's like perfect. And then we can extend this, put more in it. We can even attach a door, like a little opener. But it's still clear on the bottom, so we can see what pieces we have. And we can make it disattachable, so we can just pull it out, set it on the table, and then work with it. This is actually a pretty good design. It's perfect, look how many pieces that holds. So now let's build like eight more of these, and then we'll attach them to a rotating thing that we can put around our piston. It'll basically come out, and we'll just make two layers of that. All right, so now we have 12 of these little things. So we have six for each level. And the cool thing about these is actually, while I was building them, I kind of discovered something. Instead of putting them all out like this so that we can open them and stuff, but it's like super wide, we can actually take them like this and connect them like that. And then we just have each of them connected to a hinge so we can fold down and we can take it like that. If we use these pieces, it's a lot easier to like grab it off, but it still holds it up. And so we can attach that to a hinge, such as this, so that can hinge down. And then we change it. So this needs to go up through the middle, so we just need to figure out how to attach those. Kind of like make a hexagon shape because they're six. Oh, I know. We can use these things. These are hinges. These hinges are pretty cool because we can make any shape basically. For example, something like that. Hey, would you look at that? It's a hexagon. Did you know bees hives are made of hexagons? <laughs> super, super fact. Let's add super facts. Super fact, I have to pee. This actually needs to be connected to this up here. But look at that. We have some pieces that sort of align there. I got an idea. Right here. So I only have these pieces in pink, but what if we do this? Don't you love how everything breaks apart sometimes? Okay, now, can this connect? Dude, let's go. And now is this gonna shred into the gears when I put this down? No way, it's perfect. Okay, so it works. So then now we take six of these on this first layer here. 
goes up and then you can unfold them, right? You can unfold which ones you want. You can see what's inside the drawers from the outside. And then as shown here, you just break off the one you want and then you can just put it back on. We just need to add one more layer so that we can attach our next thing of these. And then at the top, it's basically just gonna be a false top. Probably, yeah, we could just use this Lego plate because it covers the entire thing. And then the rest of it will just be the frame. We'll need to build under the table. Real quick though, before I do that, I just wanna mention this video is sponsored by Crazy Kai's Brickling Store. If you guys are running low on a certain part or color of different Legos, you can check out Crazy Kai's. They have a ton of parts in different colors and pieces and types. Check them out using the first link in the description. They're super awesome. Let's build up the next level and then we can move on to the next step. And there we go, as you can see, we have this thing done. It's quite a bit lighter than it was with all the bricks in it because I used the door frames on the inside of here, which is perfect, yeah, except for that. Now the next step is to build a frame that we can actually attach the motor and stuff to. <laughs> and that has to be pretty strong and also keep it straight at the same time. So for the frame, we're gonna use these Technic pieces, which are like boxes and a bunch of lift arms. And these should hopefully allow us to build up a square frame that's pretty decently large. This whole gear setup will be attached to the bottom of the frame. So it needs to be from here all the way up to here, which will be flush with the table. So let's build up a box. Now it's probably a good time to mention that I'm really just kind of ad-libbing this. I don't really know what I'm doing, but this would be perfect if we build another one up here and then basically just run beams through right here. Connect these. Now, how do we attach this to this? So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just taking each of these little boxes and connecting the long lift arms to them. And then here I've added some ankle joists because as we all know, triangles are stronger than any other shape. And then I'm taking the Technic pieces and trying to lock them together in a way where it's strong enough to hold the thing up. This isn't something I've really done before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. But you gotta remember, all this is gonna be hidden under the table. I guess we test it and see if it works. <laughs> sure. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and it comes all the way out. That's perfect. We just need a stabilizer underneath it so that it doesn't do any of that bending crap. Just a couple bug fixes and we should have this thing ready to install. Okay, so the problem I seem to be having is it's getting stuck on these slope things I put in. I put in these slopes right here. A little microscopic lip right there. What we could also do is just put a sticker over that. That's actually not a bad idea because then there wouldn't be a gap there. As you can see, a lot smoother. A lot smoother moving now. So we finally have it done. Now all we have to do is cut a hole in this table and install it. This is gonna be fun. First, we drill a hole. We're in. Now I got this. Oh. As you can see, this is our hole right here, and it works. You can put your hand in it. It's not special effects, I promise. And now, we just need to install the thing right underneath. All I'm gonna do is just go through these Technic holes, simply like that, and just, just screw them in. All right, we actually have it fully installed. Now the last thing we need to do is take the little drawers off and then fill them with different things. It looks super cool, I can't wait to show you guys this. All we gotta do is hit the button. Let's go! Dude, that is so cool. And then all you gotta do to get a piece is you just fold your thing down like this, open it up, grab a piece out, you got a piece. Or you can just grab it out. And then boom, you got a drawer which you can put on the table. And then this plate is just attached to the top of it. It's just a Lego plate, so you can use different colors. If you want, you could add the white plate. The controls are right underneath here. As you can see, we have a battery box which we can turn off and on. So we turn that on and then this is the lever. And you can see that's up and it stops because of the slopes we put there, and down, you just push it down. That is so cool. You can put bins on top of it, and then like you can do that. Wow, that's actually a testament to how strong it is. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. But man, that is so cool. And then you just grab the pieces you want, or you can put them all out if you're working. Push the button, and it comes back down. 
I literally could not be happier with how this turned out, you guys. Make sure you check out one of these two videos because those are videos YouTube recommends specifically for you. I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science. See ya.